Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to my Friday morning in a meeting. My name is Pat and I am an addict. Oh, Lord, y'all, I needed a meeting this morning. It has been a hard road with my son. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's been a real hard road. Uh, for those that do subscribe, follow me on do attend my meetings. They know that my son that did almost 10 years that just got out. Being in recovery so long and, you know, being in recovery from all mood changing man out in chemicals. It hurt me last. Well, let me back up because I'm not going to hold y'all up. My son yesterday all day, he it was a beautiful day, close to 80 degrees, even if it is January here in the Delta. Long story short, he's walking around with thick milk is coming out of both nostrils, his nose, like nothing. Like he don't feel it, nothing. Tweaking. I try and avoid it all I can, y'all. I finally go out there and tell him, please stop. Look at how you look. People that see this, Young men like you looking and acting like this, they call them powder heads. I finally got him to come in here and wash his face, blow and clean his nose up. I know he only hard cold though, but he my son. Long story short, end of the day, my other son about to get ready to go to work so I get up to go to the bathroom. You know, before, so I won't be in his way getting ready for work. Um, he's in now. My son, I'm talking about that just got out. I'm talking about chain lock in my bathroom, y'all. I had a um, flashback to my own behavior. My brother-in-law's behavior. My brother's behavior. Other people's behavior that I've allowed to stay with me since I've been clean since 1996. You cannot fool me. Not 2026 in the future, 1996. I've been out any mood changing mind out the chemical. And all I told, and it's cold, and then it turns so cold with wind. So after the bathroom situation, I was so hurt and upset and angry. I looked at my total. I said, you're going to the local life, help it. In the morning, and for sure, you're going to make an appointment for you to get some help because they are affiliated with the local um, recovery house here, the Denton Center. So I told them, I said, in the morning, as soon as it warm up, you are going out there, make your appointment, and the only way that you can live with me is if you present that appointment slip because you need help. He finally gets up. He still ain't spoke a word to me because I guess whatever he was on had him. He ain't spoke a verbal word yet. 10, 15 minutes to pass. He finally gets up. He get it cold. I look him in the face and say, son, I'm tired of you running from it. I said, if you leave my house tonight and it's cold, don't come back tonight because I'm not letting you in tonight. I'm telling you that now. He leaves. And it hurt to see him make that choice, but I don't know what else to do, y'all. I'm trying. That's my son. I love him, and I'm trying. It just hurts so bad. He has assaulted me since he's been out. He's disrespected me. He's disrespected my house. He's called me everything but a child of God. And I know that spirit in him will kill me. It'll tell him to kill me, and he'll kill me. And I hate so bad that I got to let go and let God. And I hate so bad, but I'm grateful that I do have the opportunity to have a meeting this morning and share with y'all because I just needed to get this off my chest. Y'all, please don't forget to hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Keep it healthy. Keep it therapeutic if you choose to, you know, hit me up in the comments. That's fine. We can talk. But I don't allow disrespect on my channel, period, for nobody on any post about any video or topic. We talk like adults and we treat one another like adults here. Thank y'all for letting me share. Y'all be blessed.